and welcome to our love reading. Um, so yeah, as usual, little Lossie here in the carrier. So if you notice me bouncing around, it's just me trying to keep her asleep. Um, but yeah, this is our timeless love reading. So those of you who are new, my name is Emily. And those of you who are regular viewers, welcome back. Every Wednesday, we do a timeless love reading. So whenever you find yourself watching this video, that is when the message is for you. And if this resonates, then please let me know in the comments. So let's begin. Um, I'm going to be using the Witch's Tarot first of all. I've also got Romance Angels and I've got Moonology as well. So let's see, our love message. What do we need to hear? This person likes animals. This person, very gentle. They like dogs. Um, I don't know why I'm getting that very random. Now we've got the shadow side. So this is a very gentle and nurturing person when they're in a good place. But the shadow side, this person is being a little bit triggered right now. They're facing some unresolved issues from their past. The past has definitely come back to haunt them or to bite them in the bum. So whether this is this person's actions kind of having some repercussions right now, or whether it is just like a situation that they almost can't control. Um, the shadow side, this is them facing their deepest and darkest fears. It's not an easy energy to navigate. So this person actually may have withdrawn, they may have pulled back, or maybe you're just wondering where on earth is this person? Like, why haven't I met the one? Or, you know, if you're completely single. But the person who you're connecting with is definitely in a very difficult place right now. Um, and I feel like it's almost like they can't connect with you because you are, you're too bright for them right now. You are in maybe quite a good place or, you know, you're working a lot on yourself and this person hasn't been doing that self work. So they're trying to catch up. They're trying to do what is needed. But let's have a look. What are these shadows that they are facing? You see, the more this person has tried to push this out of their mind, the stronger it's become. We all know, like, when you try to ignore the elephant in the room, it just gets more and more obvious and more and more uncomfortable. And that's what this person's been experiencing. The more they try to ignore this work they need to do, this healing or facing their fears, the more profound it's become. Three of Wands. So once this person has faced their shadows, they are going to approach you. Now with this Three of Wands, they feel like they've already done quite a lot of work, but they're still not in the place where they want to be. They're still not aligned with what the kind of energy they want to align with. So this person's got a couple more things that they need to resolve, that they need to do. But then with that Three of Wands, they do want to approach you. They want to move forwards. They're waiting for this ship to come in. They're almost waiting for an opportunity to move forwards and connect with you. I feel a nervousness about this person in case you reject them. That's one of the insecurities that they've been working through is like, what if I'm not good enough? What if I do get rejected or hurt? So they're definitely, um, you know, trying to find that confidence, trying to overcome their own insecurities. Now this three of wands, I feel that they may, may very well travel to see you, show up unexpectedly, or they may invite you on some kind of trip with them. This person seems to want to spend quality time with you. They want to connect with you physically. They want to ask you like, hey, should we go somewhere? Or like, should we do something together? Um, they, they feel like this is the only way to move forwards. It has to be actual quality time together. Um, but right now this person is kind of taking a bit of an assessment of their life and deciding, you know, what, what is it that I should be doing right now? Look, the kit of the commitment, the Hierophant and the Ten of Cups came out together just then when I was shuffling. So this person really wants marriage and commitment. You know, they're actually big on family and relationships even if this person didn't have good examples of relationships around them growing up, they've always wanted to have a family of their own. They've always wanted a real committed relationship. And they've wanted to be with someone who shares the same values as them. I feel like that's important. This person really respects your values, your traditions. They, they want to be part of like your family or your life. They want what you 
can offer. I feel like you give them something, you open a door that no one else has opened. But sometimes it's quite scary to, to take that leap of faith, to make that commitment. But you definitely, you're opening doors for them, you're opening their eyes. Queen of Cups, the Hanged Man and the Six of Cups. These three came out together as well. So you see how you are this Queen of Cups? You are a different kind of person to who they've met before. You offer love, the kind of love which is unconditional. It's without limitations. It's without restrictions. It's without conditions. So with this Queen of Cups, I feel like you've spent a lot of time working on yourself, getting yourself to a place where you respect yourself, you know your boundaries, you know what you are looking for when it comes to love. So, Queen of Cups, I'm just going to expect a phone call, expect a message. Um, I do feel for some this will come from a distance. So, there will be this person who um, approaches you from a safe distance because they're trying to test the water and see whether you're both on the same level right now. But you see how you change this person's mind. You inspire them, you show them a whole different way of living. And with the Six of Cups, either this person wants to have children with you, they want a family with you, or maybe you just make their inner child really happy. There feels, you know, to be like a lot of past life history here, or maybe even just a lot of um, past experiences in this lifetime together. Like this could be someone who you've already met, you're already connecting to. But for sure, there is a lot of history, layers and layers of it. Um, and over time, I feel like you have opened this person's eyes to a new way of living, a new way of being. And now they do feel, you know, quite nervous about that, quite nervous about taking the plunge. Let me just get my message deck. One minute, I forgot to get it out earlier. But it's just here with me. So, there it is. Let's get some messages from this person. So this is my Blunt Truth message deck and you can buy this on, the, on my Etsy store. Um, I've also got a Blunt Truth Lust Edition for our X-rated messages. So you can get both those on Etsy if you're interested. But what does this person want to say? Stop pushing me. I need to make my own choices. And I can't let go of the past. Interesting, because I said you had layers and layers of history. Um, and I do feel that. But I think this person, that shadow side, this is what they're working through. They're working through letting go of the past. And you've had to take a step back because... It seems like the more you try to push them, the more they resist making a decision. So if you are always reaching out to this person and they're not replying, or you know when you do meet and you do connect, I feel like if you're pushing for that next step, then they're gonna kind of hesitate a little bit more. This person really wants to take control. They want to decide you know, what's happening next. They want to choose the next step here with that three of wands. Um, it kind of has to be their decision. Yeah, <laughs> let me take the lead. So this person's really saying like, you know, I want to lead. Look, I do want to commit to you. So let me take the lead. I want to commit to you. They're really confirming here that if you give them that space to lead, then they will make the commitment to you. Why won't you give me space? I can't grow. So I do feel for some of you, you have been trying to push this person to make a choice. Maybe you've been like, look, we've been dating long enough, what's happening? Or, you know, maybe like, if this is a new person, they come in and you're like, so when are we gonna get married? And they're like, whoa, just slow down, slow down, let me initiate this because I know what I want. Let go of control issues flew out in reverse. So yeah, allow this situation to unfold naturally because I feel like, if you are trying to control this situation or, you know, make things happen, it, it's not going to work. It's not, it's not got, you know, the outcome that you desire. Forgiving and learning. So as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So this person really has to work through their shadow space 
um, before they can, you know, take that next step here. But it's very important that you do let go of control. And if there's things here that you need to forgive and let go of, then it's important that you use this time for that as well. Because once this person has made that decision that they're committing, I feel like they're all in. You know, this person does not take commitment, relationships and marriage lightly. If they decide that they're having a family with you, if, you, if they decide that you're the one, then they will do everything in their power to make it happen. Okay guys, thank you for watching. We're going to go into the extended now. So for more of this reading, for additional messages, head over to my Patreon site, sacredspace.co.uk and we're going to continue to pull cards and see what else we need to know about the future, what's going to happen here um, and what is this person's next step. So head over to sacredspace.co.uk for the rest of this reading. And if not, I'll be back here on Friday. I'm going to be doing a blunt truth message. So a message from spirit, which we really need to hear. And um, so I'll see you back here on Friday if I don't see you over on Sacred Space. Can a unconventional approach here because they are maybe a little bit scared of just like putting all their feelings out there. But hold your... For the extended version, visit www.sacredspace.co.uk. Click on the spirit section at the top of the page and find the video that you want to purchase. You can also filter by category and choose extended. Click purchase to buy this individual video or sign up to the Evolved tier for full access to the Sacred Space site.